Logan. Thanks so much for your questions. I have some answers for you today. Um, so first things first, I think that this looks really good that with the way that you set it up where you had the 2023 weddings and then you have the 2024 weddings. You can see all of like the dates, the names, um, kind of like the location. Um, and exactly what you said of like deleting out album design if they don't have an album design. That's what I do. Um, I wasn't really sure for photo and video, like how different your video workflow is. And if that's something that you can just have like a little like section here for the video part. Um, I, I like just for not having like multiple wedding or multiple tasks for the same wedding, that is probably what I would do is just make sure that you have a video section underneath here. Um, and if they don't have video included, then just like delete that out of the workflow. Um, and then the columns that you had looked great to me. Um, I thought you did a really good job with like the ones that are specific to your business. Um, in terms of changing the background, I got you. Let me share my Asana real quick. Um, so here we go. So this is my Asana. Um, if you go up to like clicking your little name in the corner, I'm just going to make sure yeah. So like, it would be like clicking your little name right here. If you're on the web browser, um, what you can do is hit settings. You want to go to the display part right here. Um, and then you can also change like whether you want your background to be like dark or light. Um, I prefer light. So that's what I have it on. Um, the like top bar, like color, um, first day of your week, you can set, which is really cool if that's helpful for the calendar. Um, and the backgrounds are down here. So I have the aqua one. Um, there's a couple here to choose from. I know that there is like a third party extension. If you just Google Asana custom background, um, there is like a third party, like website or something that allows you to like upload a photo that you want to use as the background. Um, but I haven't used that in a couple of years. And so that's just like some, if you really want to customize it, you actually can to a custom image. Um, I know that that's something that Trello lets you do really easily that Asana just doesn't have for some reason yet. Um, but Google it if you want to try doing that. Um, I can see if I can find the name of what the extension is and when I email you back. Um, so I have that in there. Um, and then your third question Um or not third question, but something that I thought about for you um, that might be really helpful to be like, okay, like really quickly at a glance, see um, like which couples have like photo and video engagement session versus album. Like those three things that like not everyone has all three. Some might have two, some might just have one. Um, something that you can consider doing, especially since you are using list view and this works on board view as well. So I'll show you both is I have... Um, these like three pretend like weddings here, um, just for the sake of the example. And so what you can actually do is if you click the three little dots on the side, when you like open up the task, um, you can click on add tags or you can hit tab T. So if I like click here, I'm clicking like tab T on my keyboard. You can really easily like create custom tabs. Um, so I had already like type these in, but if you just want to create a new one, you will just hit create tag. Um, and then you will assign it a color. And so that's a really great way to, um, just like be able to tag your album or sorry, tag your weddings with the things that they do have. So if they have album photo of and video and an engagement session versus this one, I did just photo and video engagement session. And then I think this one was like, well, we can just pretend it's like just all of them in the engagement session. And what's really cool is if you go, if you're in list view, so like this view right here, if you click hide, um, you can make sure that the tags column is showing up right here. I'm just going to hide projects for the sake of this example. Um, and what you can do is you can extend this guy or not extend the uh, skin funky there you go um just extend this out so you can see exactly like who has what and the really cool thing about this or actually let me backtrack um you can also see the tags if you're in board view so i'm gonna go to where was it um inquiries um where did i go give me one second 
Okay, so if you go to board view and I had put them in this column, I thought they were in this one. That's why I got confused. Um, you see the little tags. So if you hover, you can see what each one is. Um, and so what I would do just to make it visually like very easy to understand is if you um, click on photo and video, like I would make sure that this tag is a specific color. So like maybe this is orange. Um, if you hit back and then let's see, um, engagement session. Oh, I just tagged it with the wrong thing. There you go. Um, is like yellow. So like you can very easily see it even on board view and list view of like who kind of has what. Um, let's take a view example. <laughs> there we go. So like you can just easily tell for these three. Um, and the really cool thing as well is that if you click on the tag, like photo and video, you can just sort, like it'll automatically sort it and just tell you like which all weddings have that tag on it. So you can really easily say, okay, like these are the two weddings that have photo and video versus if you click on engagement session, this tag, like you can see engagement session up here. Um, and you can see everyone that has an engagement session like right off the bat really quickly. Um, so that's something to play around with if that kind of helps make your organization easier. If that feels like too much, then feel free to like skip that and just stick with like having the columns and like deleting out the parts of the workflow that don't apply to each wedding. Um, but that's a really great way, especially if you have a higher volume of weddings and you want to be able to like sort like this really easily to be like, okay, like who do we need to do an album for? Um, that can be a really great way of doing things. So let me know if this answers your questions. Um, and if you have any other like follow-up questions based off of this, I didn't include this part of things in the actual product because I didn't want to overwhelm people. Um, but I'm always here if you have like more complex Asana things or like Asana questions, if you Google something or like if their customer service does not reach out to you and respond, I'm always happy to answer anything with it within like my expertise of Asana. Um, and then if you do have any follow-ups, just a quick heads up that I'm going to be out of town this weekend. Um, I'm celebrating my bro brother's birthday in New York. So again, it might take me a little bit longer to get back to your questions. Um, but I appreciate you, you're just like, just dealing with me and dealing with a little bit of a delay. And I hope that this is super helpful for you.